You can see traces of Greek thought and Greek culture everywhere, whether we're talking about entertainment, whether we're talking about sports, whether we're talking about politics, whether we're talking about philanthropy, everything and find traces um, of Greek culture and Greek civilization. History is the only way in which you can understand um, how we've got to where we are today. And so if you want to understand where we're going next, it would seem that that's the best place to start. I think going back into the deep roots really matters. And for there, you, you really start with the with the the world of the Eastern Mediterranean and with Greek literature that starts to blossom from about the fifth or sixth century BC. Hellenic studies is a dynamic field that touches on broad issues of reception, transculturalism, biculturalism, empire and democracy formation and dissolution, and religious studies, and even beyond that. The paradigm has been up, up until recently was the establishment of uh, solitary endowed chairs. What we have tried to do is to help the field grow and establish a much broader footprint. And so the foundation actually helped us to coalesce a large number of uh, intellectually compatible people at the university, as well as graduate students and undergraduates. They're very important lessons for us moving forward today in our own culture and facing kinds of challenges that we may not have ever anticipated. Support of the SNF has allowed uh, RSFU, but I think more broadly institutions who have also uh, benefited uh, from it uh, around the world to uh, keep, uh, uh, to carry the torch and keep doing uh, the work. What SNF and its support has enabled us to do is to expand those networks dramatically, to give us a platform to be able to interact um, on things like social media, to inform people when we're doing events and to bring them along, and also to be really trumpeting what it is that we do in, in our field. Greece has been very much uh, the crucibles on economy, social transformation, uh, population movements, and so on and so forth. And at the same time, it's becoming again this laboratory for vibrant cultural production.